This really is unacceptable. I gave you very specific instructions. Emmet Selk. My invitation was for an abomination, ripe with the power to bring about the world's annihilation. Not this half-broken thing. Whatever am I to do with you? And I see you insist on keeping the same familiar company. Are you so lost without them? It is not she who is lost without the familiar. Not content with remaking an entire city, you aim to fill it with the reconstituted souls of the dead. I may have gotten a little carried away in my attention to detail, added a few unnecessary flourishes. Well, there's no point trying to hide it. Yes. Once the rejoining of worlds is complete, Zodiac will regain his full strength and shatter his prison. Then, we shall offer up the source's remaining inhabitants in sacrifice, that we might resurrect our brethren who died to bring Zodiac into existence. But what was it that you came here to do, exactly? We came here to stop you. Did you now? One last do or die attempt to foil my plans before your mind dissolves into madness? How very, very heroic of you. In every age, there is always someone who wants to stand up to the evil Asians. Always the same arrogance, the same insistence that the world belongs to them. As if theirs were the only rightful claim. Theirs the only existence worthy of preservation. Even now, after everything, you refuse to see reason. You think it unfair that you are subject to suffering? That your lives will be sacrificed to the ancients? Look at me. I have lived a thousand, thousand of your lives. I have broken bread with you, fought with you, grown ill, grown old, sired children, and yes, welcomed death's sweet embrace. For eons, I have measured your worth and found you wanting. Too weak and feeble-minded to serve as stewards of any star. Have your recent spats with Vorthry and his Sin Eaters taught you nothing? Have you not learned that your ignorance and frailty beget only endless misery? How long do you mean to perpetuate this farce? How much more must I endure your bumbling interference? Let us imagine that the laws of reality are again undone and the world faces true annihilation. Do you honestly believe that half your number would sacrifice themselves to save the other? Of course they wouldn't! And if you had witnessed history unfold as I have, you would reach the same conclusion! You cannot be entrusted with our legacy. 
I will bring back our brethren, our friends, our loved ones. The world belongs to us, and us alone. Emmet Selk! We understand, truly, but it makes no difference. The ones you love are in the past, while ours are here in the present. One day, we too will be ashes and dust, but not today. Our time is not yet finished. We share your conviction, and that is why we will not abandon our course. You think us the same? You think your tattered soul of equal worth to those I lost? Then come, earn your place. Prove yourselves worthy to inherit this star. Coming oblivion. Twas the end of our era and the beginning of our great work. A fitting backdrop for your final judgment. I shall wait within, but do not spend too much time on your preparations. There's no telling how much longer the Guest of Honor will last. Well, well, you prevailed. Nevertheless, Your performance was underwhelming, and I remain unconvinced of your worthiness. Oh, you tower over your misbegotten ilk, no doubt. But should I bring my full strength to bear, well, you would be as leaves in the wind. The gulf between us is a reflection of the disparity between the world as it was, and what it has become. may not live up to your lofty standards. But they are our worlds, our homes, full of life and love and hope. And we won't stand by and let you destroy them. Alice! 
you are a mistake. For we who have known perfection, the shattered source and these shards are ghastly mockeries of the true world. The ephemeral lives you exalt are pale imitations, utterly devoid of meaning. Little us all you'd like, but we will rise again and again and give lie to your insults through word and deed. We define our worth, not the circumstances of our creation. <laughs> More prattle. Who are you? No one. Nothing. Once I have reclaimed my heritage, my first act will be to expunge your stain from history's weave. My world will have no need of heroes. Still fighting the good fight. It is true that all we hold dear is fated to fade away. But there is no reason for us to forsake it. To take what steps we may, and thus mark the road for those who would follow. To strive for the best of all futures, be this not also thy purpose? Do not presume to speak of my future. And you, why waste your final moments in futile defiance? Weary wanderer, you've no fight left to fight, no life left to live. Light will not be denied. Surrender to your fate, and let the transformation take you. Rise up in madness and fury. Devour the vermin infesting the land which is rightfully ours. Now, Ryan! Now!
If you had the strength to take another step, could you do it? Could you save our worlds? You know I could. <laughs> Take it. We fight as one. This world is not yours to end. This is our future. Our story. No. It can't be. Trick of the light. You are a broken husk, nothing more. How can you hope to stand against me alone? We stand together. How did... I'm surprised you can stand at all. I could not well leave matters half finished. Let expense contract. Eon become instant. Champions from beyond the rift, heed my call! Damn you all! It ends this day, one way or another. Let us proceed to your final judgment. The victor shall write the tale, and the vanquished become its villain. But come, let us cast aside titles and pretense, and reveal our true faces to one another. I am Hades, he who shall awaken our brethren from their dark slumber. Show me your vaunted strength, and I shall expose the lie of your fragmented existence.
Now, strike with all thy might! Remember. Remember us. Remember that we once lived. It's over. Emmet Silk is no more. More importantly, how do you fare? What dost thou see? Her aether. It is... It is as it used to be. As a disciple of Zodiac, the Asian was the darkness to your light. 
I can but assume that when you set your strength against his, the light within you was spent. No, it's more than that. Under the strain of that incredible flood of ether, your soul had begun to break apart. Yet, now it seems somehow restored. I tried to help you before the battle, but Emmett Selk stopped me. So, how did you... Exactly what did you... Can you tell us what happened? I had help from a hero of this world. I see. Where to start? I believe I owe you all an apology. And you, most especially. Tis good to see you awake, Aratia. Well, tis good to be awake. So, those mad souls dove straight into the ocean over there, did they? Uh, all, all I could see from here was the whale, Master Chai. Twas surely Alfino and those friends of his. They did something heroic. Mark my words. You need only look up there for proof of that. As you say, my love. They're sure to be back. Any moment now. Any moment. They are coming back, aren't they? I couldn't bear the thought of... <laughs> there, there, dear. Everything will be all right. There! There! Look! Over there! Over the beach!
I... I didn't think we'd be swimming the whole way back. Heavens! Heavens! Take me! Alphano! Oh, hells. Wait! Where's Ariange? Ah. Uh, he must have fallen behind. But... shouldn't we look for him? He'll wash up, sooner or later. And thus did salvation come to the first. The lamps of Amarat will fade along with Emmet's Selk's enchantments, and the depths shall be as once they were. Mount Gulag will one day fall, and the Talos below yield to wind and rain. This tale too will fade with time, passing into legend as the world heals and moves on. Nevertheless, As ether obeys the cycle, as death and decay give way to new life, so too do the memories we share inspire others rise to greatness. For we who walk before may lead those who may walk after. Your road goes ever on, as does your story, as does your legacy. Such is the hero's lot, to touch the lives of countless others. Excuse me, you're the warrior of darkness, aren't you? Where are you from, really? And how did you get to be so strong? <laughs> <laughs> 